The music of Wolfgang Vogt's gas project is one of hidden depths. A German ambient techno artist who, for over 20 years, has used the moniker of gas to create a catalogue of ethereal music, sounds that embrace not only a sense of the hypnotic, but perhaps also the narcotic. Folk takes samples of orchestral pieces, classical strings and harmonies, the fluttering of flutes, the thrum of horns, stretches and manipulates them to create these formidable compositions, often backgrounded by the 4-4 thump of a minimal techno beat. For Folk, it is imperative that listeners grasp the concept at the heart of gas, bringing the dance floor to the forest, or the forest to the dance floor. There are no keyboards, no synths. The music therefore has an organic quality, a kind of live environment evoked by the setting that surrounds me, the forest. This is where folk takes a simply beautiful ambient project and turns it into a multi-sensory experience, one that I believe is connected to the visual as much as it is the oral. The visual component is the album artwork, images of the forest tinted with different colours, and these different colours correspond emotionally with the music, defining your journey through these foggy and hissing soundscapes. Although Folk began the project with an eponymous record in 1996, the gas chronology has gone through a kind of retrospective revision, encouraging listeners to start with the first forest-themed gas album, Zauberberg, released in 1997. The red tint of the forest inspires danger, stimulates attention, perhaps even fear. Look how it changes this location from the naturalistic palette to this, as if something has bled out through every frame. And it's no coincidence that this record is the darkest musically. It utilizes dissonance more. It strays away from the worn path and into the undergrowth. It tempts you to explore the depths of the environment. With all of the gas releases, Folk refuses to title the tracks, instead simply numbering them chronologically. This focuses the project and streamlines the external factors defining the music. All you have is this minimal yet maximal soundscape and that artwork evoking the forest. This colour scheme then changes, shifting the emotive focus of Folk's ambient music palette. We arrive at 1999's Königsforst, named after the Cologne Forest, which gave Folk inspiration to create this project in the first place. And now we have a gentler, yellower, golden tone framing the music. A less dissonant project, one with clearer and lusher instrumental samples such as harp, there's like an autumnal warmth that pervades much of this record, though there is still a sense of darkness, there's a shrouded mystery, a sense of the unknown, a sense of exploration. That narrative continues with 2000's Pop, a record that foregoes the colour tint entirely and presents the flora of the artwork in lush, natural colours. perfect way to frame pop. This record is a very different beast, one which has been likened to stepping out into a meadow at the heart of the forest, the sunlight warming your face, the darkness of the forest just behind you. This experiment with colour continues on a release like October or 2017's Narcopop, 2018's Rausch, and it feels as if Folk has returned to the murky depths of the forest, no longer in the lush clearing that pop represented. It feels as if he's forever seeking out 
that dance floor inside the forest. You can feel the beat beneath your feet as you explore it. You can find entire universes of gorgeous soundscapes and irresistible repetitions on a record like pop, narco pop, Roush, which are built from solid materials, but they make up something else, something abstract yet concrete. And that non-variable visual component is the forest, the sublime effect of the forest. This is without doubt a stunning place to be, but something happens when you stop and you really take notice of your surroundings. The floor here, for example, teems with life. There are hundreds and thousands of ants shifting the floor beneath my feet. And you can hear the beautiful bird song in the trees. There's just silence surrounding it. And when there's a snapping of a twig, it startles a bird. The bird flies off and the silence allows you to comprehend what the sound of the flapping of their wings sounds like, for example. How many ants are there in this forest? How many birds are there in this forest? How many trees are there? This is the sublime component, the inability to comprehend the sheer size and beauty of this vibrant ecosystem. The forest is a shifting canvas, a metaphor not just for the music, but for the human condition, the emotions that we feel in our everyday lives. In this multi-sensory project, Wolfgang Folk takes us by the hand and leads us in. Come and get lost. Thank you.